Hey all, uh, with uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage coming out in a number of days, I wanted to uh, kind of wind it back a little and talk about um, what is essentially the first Assassin's Creed film. Assassin's Creed Lineage. I literally just finished watching this uh, just now, maybe 10 minutes ago, just as a refresher. I've had this for a number of years, but uh, if you don't know, uh, Lineage was essentially the prequel to the Ezio trilogy. This one is about uh, Ezio's father. Um, this is a good flick. It's it's a brisk 35 minutes long, but uh, this is not a fan film of any sort. They put a lot of work into this. The, uh, the sets, the outfits, uh, costumes, I guess, um, the choreography, the fight choreography, it's all a lot of fun. It all looks really good. Um, this has a good whack of special features as well. Um, over 90 minutes, it says. Um, there is the making of this film. There is uh, behind the scenes on Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, uh, a trailer for Revelations, which is when this came out. Revelations was just coming out. Uh, there was also a kind of a motion comic with Ezio, which I thought was really cool, uh, called Ascension, or Ascendance? Ascendance, sorry. Uh, it's it's basically a motion comic with Ezio. It's like about eight minutes long. Actually is voiced by uh, the cast of Assassin's Creed II, uh, and it's pretty cool. It's unexpected. And there's also a making of that as well. So there's a lot packed into this disc. And it's all really good. Um, as you can see, there's the back. Sorry, glare. But you can see there's a kind of an example of the costumes. And like I said, they spared no expense. This is a really fun movie. Uh, too bad there wasn't more of it, actually. This actually beats the pants off of that actual uh, Hollywood-produced uh, Assassin's Creed film. That was a bit of a letdown. But uh, this was fun. This is a good watch. And like I said, only 35 minutes. You'll get through quick and you'll wish it was an hour. I actually thought it was. I thought it was a good hour and a half uh, before I put it in. But it is what it is. Uh, it's only meant as a prequel to the games. So it kind of had to stop somewhere, right? But um, if you can find this, uh, do watch it. Um, it's basically, it's very interesting. Uh, with the Ezio trilogy, they have the trilogy of games. They have the prequel movie, and then they have the uh, uh, epilogue movie, uh, Embers, Assassin's Creed Embers, which I don't ever think got a actual video release, but I did download it onto my Xbox all those years ago uh, because it was on the marketplace, and I still have it on there, my 360. Um, and that was a good watch as well. And um, anyway, uh, not to get too off topic, but uh, I just wanted to bring this up, like I said. This is the first Assassin's Creed movie. Uh, I looked it up and the actual Hollywood um, film came out um, seven years later than this. So this has a beat in quality um, and um, by date, uh, release date. Only thing the Hollywood movie has going for it is it's longer and it's, uh, you know, I have more money thrown at it. But uh, this is good. Everything about it, like I said, costuming, the setting, uh, the sets, rather. Everything is really fun in this, and it's uh, it was fun to go back and watch this again after how many years I've had it. So, uh, rant over. I just wanted to point this out. As I said, with the new uh, Assassin's Creed coming out, uh, I do like to cover all those, um, but I don't think I've ever talked about this one. And I'm not sure how many people are, so I just wanted to bring it up. Uh, and we'll leave it at that, and I thank you. And... Um, when Mirage comes out, I will definitely be doing an unboxing for anybody that cares to uh, see that. So until then, I thank you for watching, and I will see you for um, that video and any and every other video, hopefully, that's coming down the pike after that. Anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, bye.